factorizing. Now, factorizing means obviously to take out common factors and to put it into brackets. Here we are. Factorizing means take out common factors, use brackets to simplify the expression. Now, in further maths, they have a couple of techniques that I think are, are particularly um, used in, in further maths, particularly in this course. Um, you might use them already, but I thought I'd point them out in case they're useful. You probably know normal factorizing already, so we'll jump straight to the interesting stuff. So my first example is this. I've now got, I've actually got four variables here, a, b, x, and y. And the technique we're going to use here comes up quite a bit in further maths, and I haven't really seen it in GCSE so much. And it comes from factorizing sort of a pair of terms in my expression individually. Well, you know, in, sorry, in pairs. So I've got xa plus xb and ya plus yb. Now, this first two have a common uh, factor of x, so I'll take that out. And the second two have a common factor of y. So I've got this, a brackets a plus b from my first pair of terms and y brackets a plus b from my second pair. Now, this now becomes a common factor, a plus b in the bracket. x is, a, you know, times by a plus b and y is times by a plus b which means I can actually put these in double brackets. a plus b is being one term, and then the two coefficients of that bracket in the other one, x and the positive y. If this was negative y, obviously I'd put minus y. Um, a plus b, x plus y. You know, and if we expanded this, it would be normally, you know, you times the x by a and b, that's what this is, and then y by a and b, that's what this is, you know. And you can see it sort of going forwards and backwards. And that's obvious because factorizing is the inverse of expanding, isn't it? So it should get back to that if you expanded it. Another example. Now, this is difference of two squares, even though it might not immediately look like it. The quick reminder, difference of two squares is when you have something like um, a squared take away b squared. You know, two terms that are both squared and subtracted. And the technique is to put them into double brackets. I don't know why I'm suddenly going uphill. This is weird. And you put the letter in each, once with a plus, once with a, a negative. Because when you expand that, you'll have a squared, uh, subtract ab plus ab, and then subtract b squared. And these two terms in the middle cancel each other out. Negative ab, positive ab, leaving a squared plus b squared the difference of two squares, which you can't see because I've covered it in writing. So let's just get rid of all of that. All right, so if you don't know the difference of two squares, you really need to go and, and, and look it up. Well, I'm sure you do. It comes up all the time. Now, this is difference of two squares, except um, my terms just don't quite look like it. If I square root this first term, I get 2x, and if I square root the second one, I get 3y, like this, because 2x times 2x makes 4x squared. 3y times 3y is 9y squared. Uh, I then can put it into double brackets. Just like this a plus b, a minus b, it will be 2x plus 3y, 2x minus 3y. Like this, difference of two squares. Now this one doesn't look like difference of two squares, but it ends up as it. You can see there's a common factor of both terms of y to the power of 3. So I can take that outside the bracket or, you know, out, outside of a bracket, uh, leaving y squared to take away 36. Now, this is difference of two squares, classic version, a letter squared take away a square number. So I will have uh, the difference of two squares with y cubed on the outside of all of it, y plus 6, so the square root of 36, and then y minus 6 on there. Difference of two squares. Again, get lots of practice on that, comes up a lot. Now, I want to show you... Another technique for dealing with this, when the coefficient of x squared, you know, is a, um, the coefficient of x squared is greater than 1, so a is greater than 1. Now, it starts off very similarly to my normal technique that I use, except this is kind of very particular to further maths, I think. It sort of seems to come up quite a lot. And so it starts similarly. 2 times 5 is 30. And then I need my factor pairs for 30 that add up to make the fact the coefficient of x now uh, one times thirty obviously two fifteens three tens but the one I want is five and six now these bus must both be negative the reason for that is when they multiply they make positive thirty but they have to add together to make negative eleven which is why it's negative five negative six okay 
Now what I'm going to do is separate this negative 11x into two parts, negative 5x and negative 6x. Now it totals up to make this, but I'll show you why we're doing that just afterwards. So we're going to separate it out into the negative 5 lots of x and the negative 6 lots of x and then obviously my positive 15 on the end. This means I can actually factorise pairs of terms. I'm going to factorise the first pair of terms and I'm going to take x out of both to get uh, 2x take away 5. And if I factorise my other pair, I get negative 3, because I can take 3 out of both of these terms. Or rather, I'm going to take negative 3 out of both of these terms to make uh, negative 3 brackets um, 2x take away 5. Now, the reason that's negative is because negative 3 times negative 5 makes positive 15. So I have to be a bit careful for that. And then using the the sort of uh, technique that I used that we used right at the beginning of the video, we've got a common term here, which is 2x take away 5. And in the other bracket, I've got these two coefficients of the bracket. So x times that bracket and negative 3 times that bracket. Okay, we've factorized it. There we go. All right, let's do that one more time. Now this time you see I've also got another variable in here as well, but we can use the same technique. Um, I'll say there's different techniques for this quadratic on the left, but this one where we've got two different variables, we need to use um, this, this technique um, particularly. Now 3 times the negative 8 is negative 24, and I want to factor pair of that that adds up to make the negative 10. Now, obviously, it's uh, 2 times the 12. Oh, it's two 12s, isn't it? Yeah, two 12s, hit on the nail straight away. And uh, now the 12 needs to be negative because it adds up to make negative 10, which those do. So I'm going to start off, try and be a bit efficient with space here. I'm going to separate out my minus 10x squared, sorry, 10xy, into two parts. Start with the 3x squared. We're going to have positive 2 lots of xy and then negative... 12 lots of xy, which together makes po uh, negative 10 lots of xy, and then negative 8y squared on the end. Now we're going to again factorise it in, in pairs of terms. This first one, they share an x, they don't share a number, so I'm just going to put x there. We'll have 3x uh, plus 2y here, and then I'm going to factorise my other pair of terms. Um, we can take negative 4 out of these. So I'm going to put negative 4 there. And they both have a y as well. So actually we can put negative 4y before that one. Um, then we'll have 3 lots of x. And when I times this by um, positive 2y, then we obviously get the other bracket. Notice the two brackets have got the same content, 3x plus 2y which means we've got those common, that's a common factor of the other two, so 3x plus 2y brackets, and then these two coefficients of the bracket go in the other one, uh, x and then negative 4y. There we go. Right, it's quite neat, isn't it, for factorising when you've got two different variables in there. What about this one then? We've got x plus 3 all squared minus 4y squared. This is the difference of two squares again except one term will be x plus 3, and the other term will be the square root of this, which is 2y. So it will be x plus 3 is my first term. Um, we're going to, first of all, add the square root of this. Now, the square root of this is 2y. And then I'm going to do x plus 3 again, my first term. Take away the square root of this again, which is 2y. And there we go. Terrible writing, but you get the idea. x plus 3 plus 2y and x plus 3 minus 2y. Yep, just like the ordinary difference of two squares. Okay, let's have a look. So difference of two squares is what that is. Right, go away and do some textbook exercises. Um, these page references reference this book. Let's get rid of my scrawly writing. Don't need that anymore. Um, this AQA level 2 set. It's just what I do in my school. Uh, the books by Hodder Education, but any questions you can find on this will be perfect, all right? Go and factorize.